okay all right so in this session we are going to see about how to connect gns3 routers or we can say as how to telnet the gns3 routers by using the physical device by using our physical laptop or a physical computer how we are going to telnet the gns3 routers or switches so that's what we are going to look into this session so this is the topology that i'm going to use for the demo here this is my windows pc this is my physical device this is my physical device and these three are routers for two routers and one vpcs okay so first i will show you about the ip address that has been configured in my pc okay so this is my ip address that i have configured for uh, 192.168.137.1 and it belongs to the adapter name lab and this is the lab okay all right so the next thing I would like to show you the IP address configuration for each device. This is the R, this is the PC connectivity. Uh, we will see about the PC later. This is the show IP interface brief for R1 router. This is the connectivity to the computer, and this is the connectivity to the router R2. And here is a loopback IP for testing the telnet. Next is about R2. R2 router is 192.168.12.2 that is uh, connected towards R1 and this is connected towards a computer that is a VPC and this is a loopback adapter for testing. Okay, so this is the IP address that I have configured in the computer that is 0 0.10 and this is the gateway. Alright, so now the next thing we need to do is to configure IP protocols that is a uh, new one of the dynamic routing protocol for easy purpose. So IP protocols okay so routing protocol is already been configured i will show you the configuration of it router eigrp so you can able to see here that i am using as number one and i have advertised all the networks same thing you can see it here Okay, so EAGRP1 with uh, routing protocols. Okay, all right. Now, what I'm going to do is to ping 192.168.137.10, which is the IP of R1. Again, able to get the response. Let's have a quick overview at R1 to check 192.168.137.1 whether we can able to reach the PC from r1 okay so now the pc is connected to the router r1 okay so now let's have a try to take telnet sorry i would prefer to take telnet here we are going to take a telnet from two different ways one is via the directly connected interface that is 192.168.137.10 is the IP that we are going to tell it first. The next is the logical IP. It may be either 1.1.1.1 or 2.2.2.2. Any one of the IP that we are going to tell it to see what's the difference between each of them. Okay, 137.10. Before taking telnet, we need to make sure whether usernames and passwords are configured. Let's make sure. Show running configuration type symbol. Yes, okay, so it is being configured. Okay, no issues for R1, and we will check it for R2. R2 is also seems to be configured. Let's check it as well. Okay, everything is fine. Now I'm going to take telnet from here, whether is it reachable or not. Yeah, it's reachable. Okay, show IP interface brief. If you want, we can able to do whatever you want. Okay, so this is the direct access of the device. 
okay so the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a telnet from one dot one dot one dot one dot one and here is a telnet and i'm going to open it it's showing as no router host i couldn't able to reach okay so the reason behind this i couldn't able to reach is i can able to send a request but i couldn't able to receive the request to make it simpler you can able to check it from here now i'm trying to ping 192.168.137.10 it's pingable but if i try to ping 1.1.1.1 it's not reachable since we don't have a route in order to reach the destination okay now what we are going to do is we are going to add a route in the windows machine in order to reach the destination okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a specific route okay we need to go it via administrator only so that we will have access to add a route route before that we need to check the route print which shows the routing table of a machine okay we don't have a gateway that is a default route we don't have uh, many of the stuffs is not there okay so no issues and we are going to configure a route add i'm going to create for 1.1.1.1 mask 255 255 255 dot 255 and assigning a gateway as 137.7 sorry 137.10 with a metric of 80 okay now it's added route print can we see the route yeah we can able to see this route over here okay let's try to ping now how it's reachable okay so in the same way you need to add for 2.2 if you need or in general you can add a default route which can be used for all the networks but the issue is if you are connected to the internet if you add a default route it might misbehave because while uh, you are connecting to the internet the default route will be added to the windows machine and if there is any issue with metrics it may cause uh, issues where either you can connect it to the local connectivity or the internet might be connected or there may be some issues in connecting to the internet so be uh, prepared according to that okay now let's try to telnet this information 1.1.1.1 hope now we should have to reach yeah now it's reachable admin admin so ip interface brief okay so if you want to add for 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2 .2, the same we can do it here for that you need to go it over here Two dot two dot two dot two, and it's been added all right so now you can be able to see the same information whether it is reachable or not so 2.2.2.2 it's reachable now if you want to take a telnet also you can be able to take a telnet of the session 2.2.2.2 but don't forget you are using a telnet if you want to ssh you need to enable this search admin admin show ip interface brief so you got it so this is the way that you need to enable or if you want to telnet a router of gns3 from your windows machine or from a physical device this is the way you need to do it so i hope you understand what i'm doing that's it about uh, telnetting the router gns routers from the windows machine if you have any queries regarding this just give a comment that's it thanks for watching until next time